there's a few steps involved, so I'll just walk you through. Here I've got a, a nice video of Robert Donovan, and we want to put that ID logo in the corner. So first thing is you get your JPEG image of your logo, and then just drag that into your list of files in um, Premiere. Now I've got that JPEG, drag it over and then put it into another video channel. So your primary video is still in video 1, and then video 2 um, goes alongside that. Now you'll have an option to merge this clip with the top video, and what that means is, uh, for this logo it's got a white background, and it'll take the white out and try and solve that problem for you and kind of merge it so that it sits on top but it looks like part of the video. If you say no, it'll just put the whole image, just as it is, sitting on top of the video completely. Um, if I do no, and then show you how that looks, you can see we've got the whole image, white background and all. And we'll alter the sizing next. But first, if I, um, if I remove that, and then I'll show you what it looks like with video merge, you can see it's taken the background out almost completely. Needs a bit of tweaking. If you've got an image with a clear background or you don't need the merging, then great, that's the easiest. So we'll work with this as it is now. If we take this um, short clip and then extend it to be the length of the whole video, so I've got the same clip now over everything in the video. To change the size, we look at the properties, so I right clicked on that, show properties, and then motion allows you to change the size and the positioning. So, let's see it, there it is, I just seem to have moved out. Right, so now we've, we can see the scale here will allow us to size it to a more appropriate size for the ID. And then the positioning, this is the x-axis, so we want that more to the right, so we put a bigger number in here, and just kind of guess at the numbers till you're happy with that. And then this is the y-axis, and we want that to move upwards, which I think needs a smaller number. So that looks uh, pretty good. Another thing you might want to try is opacity. You can fade your logo so that you can see some of the background through it, which sometimes can help uh, a logo look more sophisticated. If it's quite a plain grey logo, it can look kind of embossed. So that's a nice effect to play with. And then we're done. We have this logo, and it just sits there in the corner of the video throughout.